four nonsensical, katakanized English phrases. Brought to you by Amsen. Let's dive in. This is chance. Please choice. Let's challenge. Please give me your sign. These are all English phrases that have been corrupted, katakanized for Japanese consumption. Of course, as a native English speaker, the disorganization of the syntax makes no sense to us and also adds to the never-ending race to the bottom called the English education system in Japan. You'd expect educators who are teaching a foreign language to care about teaching things properly and accurately, right? Nope. Wrong. The Japanese English language education is fraught with deeper undercurrents of language protectionism and national identity. Meaning, students are not going to get an understanding of the culture of the language they're learning, which is English. They're getting the Japanese cultural understanding of the foreign language they're learning, which is English. Which, in essence, which is, in essence, not learning a foreign language at all. Just learning some more about their native language, Japanese. So, you'll get a lot of, we're going to do things, we're going to do it our own way, even if it means racing to the bottom and never being able to raise or improve in the TOEIC or TOEFL ranking, international ranking. Or just being able to have a regular conversation without sounding like a living misprinted textbook. And it's important to note that there are that there are kids who are listening to this nonsensical language organization. The information that is being input imprinted on their minds is at a subconscious level. And once you have learned something right or wrong, it is hard to unlearn it. And with that being said, let's take a dive into what actual language corruption looks and sounds like in Japan. Coming in at number four. Give me your sign. Give me your sign. Oh, yeah, right. I'm, I'm a Leo, actually. <laughs> okay. That's my sign. I'm a Leo. Oh, you mean a traffic sign. Oh, okay, let me give you a stop sign and a don't enter sign and a slow down sign and a both ways sign. Is that what you meant? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you mean my signature, my Richard Nixon. Give me your sign is womp womp. You'd ask, can I have your signature? Or, can you sign here, please? Let's do that again. Can I have your signature? Can you sign here, please? One more time. Can I have your signature? Can you sign here, please? Coming in at number three. Please choice. Please choice. This is just flat out wrong. Mm -hmm. 
No need to even go into depth with this one. If you're an educator in Japan and haven't taken the time to care about the second language you're teaching to impressionable children, again, language and cultural protectionism is at play here. Choice is a noun. And choose is a verb. So, you mean to say, please choose something, please choose something, please choose from our selection of sneakers, please choose something on the menu. Or, please make a choice. Please make a choice. Let's do that again. Let's repeat after me. Please make a choice. Please make a choice. So you don't go into the classroom tomorrow or the week after next or the day after next and say, please choice. Repeat after me. Let's do this ad nauseum. Please make a choice. Please make a choice. A choice. Either way, the choice is yours to make between the two examples that I have given you. The choice is yours to make. Coming in at number two. Let's challenge another ear screeching phrase. Ugh. Challenges are now and the verb, of course, but this is not how it is used when used as a verb. Let's challenge is incomplete. Let's challenge what or who. Let's challenge what or who. What are we challenging or who are we challenging? Is the question. Let's challenge what? Oh, let's challenge these unjust laws. Let's challenge these unjust laws. Let's challenge who? Let's challenge the other soccer team. Let's challenge the other soccer team. Repeat after me. Let's challenge the other soccer team. Let's challenge who? Let's challenge our parents' authority. Let's challenge our parents' authority. That's what we can challenge. Or what you mean is let's try. Let's try this. Let's try something new. Let's try this uh, in-class lesson. Let's try this new game. Let's try something. Try it with me. Let's try. Not let's challenge. Let's try. One more time. Try it with me. Don't be hard-headed. Let's try. Not let's challenge. Let's try. Let's try. Say it one more time. Let's try. And coming in at number one. Bottom of the barrel phrase. 
all our bottom feeders out there that don't want to do it right. This is chance. Jeez, please stop it. This is a phenomenon. This is a phenomenon. Strictly, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's strictly, uh, what is it called? Limited to Japan. Trust me, and it never gets old, and it never stops. Again. You'd expect educators who are teaching impressionable minds a foreign language to get it right. Not in this case, nope. More, I'm going to do it our own way, or we're going to do it our own way, and be wrong and never get it right on purpose because I we need to understand my culture while learning a foreign language. In this case, English. The word chance is used as a noun and a verb. But you just can't say this is chance. You can say this is our chance to win as a verb or to show that we're the best. We have a chance to learn something new today. Or you have a chance, teachers, to learn something new today. Put a dent in that ignorance. We also have a chance to stop teaching these impressionable minds BS. Go over this one more time. Instead of saying, say. So, instead of saying, give me your sign, can I have your signature? Two, please choice. Please make a choice. Or, please choose. Let's challenge. Say, let's try something new. Instead of saying this is chance, let's say this is our chance to do something or this is our, our opportunity to do something. One more time, instead of saying give me your sign, say can I have your signature. Instead of saying please choice, say please make a choice or please choose. Instead of saying let's challenge, say let's try something. Or, this is chance. Instead of saying this is chance, say this is our chance to do something or this is our, our opportunity to do something. <laughs>